my beautiful foodie friends out there welcome back to et stinen channel sorry i've been missing in action because we went on a vacation we took kids on a cruise for the very first time it was a um, great experience for them we went on empress of the sea it's a older ship of royal caribbean fleet and we had a great time if you want to know more about our cruise and our review of the ship you can check out my kids channel growing babies but we started from miami florida and it was a welcome relief after cold chilly calgary winter and i think cruise is a great time for you to explore different places with the kids while enjoying some delicious tasty food so best part of the trip was that there was indian food available on the ship which i came to know after being on the ship for a few days and after that it was super awesome for me because i could eat all these delicious curries paneer lentils or veg curries and they were bang on on flavor spice level i had a great time we also ate lots of veggies noodles etc because i'm vegetarian kids of course loved the dessert and hubby enjoyed different kind of things that were available on the ship so desserts were another highlight they had amazing selection of treats for the kids and adults they had ice cream outside on the boat every day on the deck which was perfect after a hot day so snack time windjammer cafe always had something for people to try it would be either make your own nachos or hot dogs make your own sandwiches burgers some days were busier than the other especially the day when it was a ship day no port day that was busy um when it was port day of course ship was empty people would eat out we took advantage of all meals we went for seconds and thirds this is veggie burgers no actually they are not they are salmon chicken and a beef burgers so hubby had one chicken burger he really liked it hot dogs we didn't try because they were beef and we don't eat beef um but food was quite satisfactory we never went hungry they kept us well fed staff was super friendly really nice if you had allergies they would accommodate you and fries were always there to munch on lots of different toppings you can customize your sandwich cheese varieties meat variety was there pretty good for a boat right considering they have to have so much food for 1800 passengers uh, tuna salad potato salad cold slaw those were also available during snack times here they have jalapeno sour cream salsa blue cheese combo so lots of different options for you to play with different flavors they had buffets which we quite enjoyed during lunch times for dinners we mostly went to their main restaurant for dining they had two paid restaurants as well which we didn't try um and at their main dining area you could make reservations and then you can choose things from the menu they had like fancy appetizers their menu would change every day like italian sometimes continental sometimes and you could ask the hostess a day before of what kind of menu will be next day sometimes she even gave us a copy of next day's menu and then we could decide if we wanted a buffet or we wanted to go for dinner so there were new desserts every day which we had fun tasting i had italian food one day so there was risotto that was mushroom based for me one day there was cuban food i think so lots of options and if you were not happy with my time dining at the main Uh, dining restaurant then you could always come for buffet for the seconds so here's a look at different kind of things you could enjoy you wanted to keep it light just go with like a salad or nacho platter nacho platter was amazing you could load it up if you want and then there was always fruits different kinds of breads they were really accommodating for people who had uh, dietary needs so there was gluten free food there was sometimes dairy free options and once i discovered indian food i was on heaven i had lots of indian food like there was pav bhaji one day some things were better than the others but that is to be expected but i think all passengers were quite happy 
not as many restaurants to dine in like some of the other bigger ships but they did the best they could so beet salad carrot salad one day was super good um, rice and beans mashed potatoes so options for everyone keeping everyone happy could be challenging right um, but they did the best they could and we were not disappointed we were actually quite happy kids enjoyed mashed potatoes and you know pastas and pizzas hubby liked trying different things that's beef stroganoff so if you love meat you wouldn't be disappointed lots of fish options chicken options that's um, braised fish and then spinach baked chicken they also had different stations where you could get carved meat smoked meat or like stir fries one day or get your own pasta made different kinds of pizzas and pastas were available they made their own bread which was super in impressive that's beef rendang that is mixed veggies of some sort and that looks like a chicken vegetable soup different kinds of soups were available so yeah two or three varieties of soups one day we had like a pumpkin soup which was so good you would think pumpkin soup huh but i tried it and it was really tasty calzones pizzas that's cream spinach roasted potatoes so if you're a veggie person you had options for sure egg and vegetable fried rice sweet and sour pork so lots of different flavors they played with to create different dishes that's a mix of different veggies another salad beet salad creamy salad you could choose your own dressings make your own salad if you were not happy with what they were offering so peppers, chickpeas, broccoli, mushrooms, beans, olives. Yeah, so lots of options here. Fresh fruits. Anyone, you're on a holiday, you want fresh fruit, come get some apples. And then you could make your own little cheese platter. Spreads and dips were always available. Olives, meats. And if you wanted something and you didn't see, you could ask the chef and they would do their best to accommodate. So that was a good thing right like they would never disappoint you gouda cheese assorted olives blue cheese and then if you were still not happy of course there was always dessert to brighten up your day so i i think cruise is a great vacation it's as good as any other all-inclusive caribbean option One, one day chef told me that they make their own breads which was nice sometimes they had pre-made sandwiches sometimes you could make your own sandwich um, i think cookies is something that they bought pre-made that were already um, made at one of the ports but rest of the baking was done on the ship which was quite good to know impressive right and if you're still wanting more you'll have to wait stick around i'll show you their uh, desserts one more time fresh fruits look at that so uh, sometimes the dining area could get crowded but then people would take food on the deck or go on the top level of the ship which was always nice english triffles pound cake and some of these desserts were a1 like excellent like they had this dulce de lache cake which was so good coconut slice cake sugar free vanilla cake chocolate brownies some were okay some were super amazing and you know you can all only eat so much look at all that fresh fruit So very flavorful food so if you sometimes go to like a caribbean place and you don't feel happy about what's available cruise could be a good option for you to try for picky eaters especially
All right, some more options. So gluten-free people, or if you are a vegan, vegetarian, don't have to worry. There will be something to make you happy. Apples. Cucumbers were surprisingly not, not so good, but everything else was good. Oh, that's there is a carrot salad that I think was really good. I'm not a big salad person, but some of these salads were really tasty. Coleslaw, carrot and raisin salad. And one day when I discovered there is Indian food, then I was like, yes, bring on the paranthas. It was good. Chole, like chickpea curry and okra curry. Good flavors. That's lentil salad, rice and okra stew and veggie stews. Mashed potatoes. Of course, lots of meat. Kids always loved eating like fish and chips or chicken fingers or pastas. They were always happy. Once the kids are fed, you know, you can really then enjoy your vacation. They are not complaining or we are hungry. Pistachio pound cake. Orange mousse, brownies, chocolate cheesecake, so good. I think I should have tried more salads and fruits. I ate way too much dessert. Oh well, for the next vacation, something to keep in mind. Turkey breast wrapped in bacon. And of course, you will always find hot dogs and stuff to make your own veggie burgers or chicken burgers that's from one of the snack days pizza was also available during snack time sometimes so that was amazing calzones so all in all lots of food options even though it's a small boat and they don't have enough um, my time dining kind of restaurants so what do you guys think do you think you will like to be on a cruise or have you had a cruise that was amazing or where you didn't have such a good experience let us know so that it helps us for our next vacation planning but we love the vacation we really enjoyed the food we had a great time building memories with the kids. Kids like trying different kind of desserts rather than their regulars. And yeah, some things, some tastes, some flavors will always stay in the memory. Thanks for watching this video guys. Share it with your friends and family and hopefully we'll see you again soon. So stay tuned to Eat East Indian. Thanks for watching guys.